Hey guys, it's Nikki. Welcome back to my channel. So since I haven't been to the barn for a while due to my barn being shut, thanks to this virus that shall not be named, I thought it would be fun to show you guys how to draw a quick, simple, and easy cartoon horse. For those of you who don't know, I really enjoy painting and drawing and have been painting quite a bit. So if you guys would also like some tutorials on how to paint a horse or if you guys would like to DM me some photos of your horse on Instagram and would like me to draw them for you, I'd be more than happy to do that too. So let's get into it. So grab your sketchbooks or some paper and grab a nice sharp pencil. Personally, I prefer mechanical pencils. Grab an eraser and let's draw together. So when drawing a horse, I always like to do two circles. So the bigger one is the top of the head and then the smaller one is the nose. Next, I connect the two together just like this and I'll add a bit of a neck. It's important to note that I'm pressing very lightly with the pencils since these are lines that I will be erasing later. As you can see, I'm adding a bit of a bump, which will be the outside of the eyeball that's on the far side from us. With this view, one of the horse's eyeballs will be completely visible, which will be its left eye, and then its right eye will just see a little bump from where the eyeball protrudes from the head. A little trick for if you're having trouble getting the ears to look right is to draw kind of a tent shape to help the ears be parallel and just to make sure that they're the same height and size. As you can see here, I changed the shape of the neck a couple times because I couldn't get it to feel or look quite right. But since I was only pressing very lightly with my pencil, it was super easy to change the lines. You can see here that as I'm getting ready to pencil in both eyes in more detail, I draw a curved line from one eye to the other to help make sure that they're aligned and even and I don't have one eye way up and the other eye down low or just a wonky looking horse.
Now for those of you who have been following along, I'd just like to make sure that you guys know that you don't have to follow what I'm doing in the drawing exactly. You can kind of put your own twist and spin on it, especially when it comes to the mane. Don't worry about having your clumps of mane the same size as mine. Just do whatever you think looks and feels right. So next I decided to do a bit of shading. I will color in this horse later, but just in case you guys don't want to, or even if you do, just so you can know where some of the shadows are, what I did is I drew some lines and then I found that they were a bit too harsh, so I smudged them out with my finger. Next I decided to take a thin black marker pen sort of thing, just to outline it to help you guys see my lines a bit better since I realized that pencil may not be the easiest thing to pick up on camera. I'm also planning on shading and coloring everything in in pencil crayons. I'll make my highlights and shadows a bit more dramatic than what I'd normally do, just again to help all you guys see it quite a bit better. I'd also like to add in that you can still see the pencil lines and I am going over top of it with marker. But when I'm done tracing over everything in the marker and after letting the marker dry for at least five minutes I plan on going into the drawing with an eraser and erasing all of my pencil lines. So to start off, I'm going to use this medium brown pencil crayon and I'm going to start off with just showing you guys where the shadows are. As I was shading the ears, I realized that I'd like a line to be a little more defined, so I got back out my black ink and I just defined the ears. In areas that I also wanted to make a little bit darker, but I didn't want to quite make the harsh black line, I did a stippling motion, which is when you do teeny tiny little dots. After shading the horse's body a bit more, I decided to go into the floor lock and the mane and to start just darkening up the tips. Next, with a color called stone, I continued to shade in some of the areas that I wanted to shade, such as the muzzle, and just making them a lot darker. Thank you. 
the next color that I used is called Arizona Topaz, which is this creamish yellow color, which I used to be my general color of the horse. Then I went back to my medium brown and I just shadowed around the eyes. I also added some shadows under the mane, since in real life if the light was coming from up top, which it would be, likely sun or lights, that the mane would create a shadow on the neck. Next using tan, I went around my shadow areas just to kind of help blend them in a bit more and just make it look a lot more seamless and less like just random stripes on a horse. To continue blending even further, I picked up this color called Hazel. So here is my completed cartoon horse. As I mentioned in the intro, I made my lines a bit darker than what I would normally do, just so you guys can see better at home. I hope you guys enjoyed watching today's video. Please make sure to give it a big thumbs up if you did. Subscribe and ring the little bell notifications. And yeah, thanks for watching. Bye guys.